Alright, in this video I'll show you how to remove the background using Photoshop. This is Photoshop CS5, but should be very similar to the previous versions. Alright, so we're going to go to File, Open, and we're going to select our image that we want to remove the transparency from. And for this one, go ahead and choose this one. Alright, now that we, we want to get rid of the black here, but we want to keep all the color in the image. And if you'll notice, there's a nice little uh, glow, and we want to keep that as well so it'll show up on the shirt. So the first uh, step going to come over here to the layer bar and we'll right click on the background and we'll say duplicate layer just say OK when I ask you what do you want to name it alright now we have two over here we want to select the background copy now that we've done that, we will use the uh, magic wand tool. Okay, and if you'll notice up here, the tolerance this is, can be important. We want to get rid of uh, as much black as possible, but we don't want to get rid of the uh, the glow. So if you'll notice, if I use say uh, the default tolerance is usually 20. So if we try that and click on the black area, it'll select a lot more than we want it to. It doesn't get the glow, or I'm sorry, a lot less. It doesn't get the glow that we want to keep and some of this other colors. So, I'll select deselect to get rid of that. And we want to try with tolerance of about three. Now that we've done that, we'll select the black. It's still getting in there a little bit, a little uh, <clears throat> less than we want. So I'll select, deselect, or Control D. Try again. We'll try tolerance of two. Now the lower you go on tolerance, the uh, the more it's going to grab. I'm sorry, the less it's going to grab. Okay, so we'll try two. All right, now that's pretty good there. So now that we've done that and we have all of the black here that we want to get rid of. We'll go up to select, modify, and feather or shift F6 on your keyboard. So we'll feather it and we'll leave it at 5 pixels. And then once we've done that it kind of smooths everything. So now that we've done that, you're going to hit delete key on your keyboard. Okay, and if you notice it didn't really change anything because now you want to go over here to your background layer, right click on it, and delete it. Choose yes. And there we have the transparent background now for the image that we want. And we can select deselect and now we can save as because you don't want to save over your original just in case and we want to save it as a PSD format we'll go ahead and save it and now when we import it into the rip it will uh, have a transparent background